Greetings YouTube, it is the 22nd of February 2022 and the turbine will be coming down. Uh, my son's going to be doing the winch. Yeah, there's a few things I need to do and one of them is replace any rusty wire clamps. So there's 20 there, that should be enough. One sec. Right, go nice and slow back and forward all the way. So, while we've got some light, I'm just going to stop recording and start recording and turn the brightness up. So we'll have a good look at it while it's down. There's the smaller set of blades which are run as an experiment, they're right on the front. There's the bigger blades connected to this homemade blade hub. And one thing I want to do, you'll notice the blades are on the front of the hub, I want them on the back. So there may be some space issues there. There's the very trusty, I think I got lucky with this, a one kilowatt bike motor. Uh, there's the chain and the gear, simple gearing system. These are the bolts which I can use to adjust the angle of the turbine. You'll, you can see the angle there quite clearly. There, that is the angle it pokes up at. Uh, this bit was nicked off a Chinese turbine. Uh, the frame and the tails all made from scrap, totally homemade, as is the tower. I use these to um, level the tower up after. Now, one thing I do want to change eventually is to get rid of all this and just have this bit here, this plate on a swivel here, because this bit annoys the hell out of me and it's unnecessary. Uh, gets a bit rusty, there's nothing you can do really, it's mild steel. Uh, if I had the money I would have bought a stainless steel one but it doesn't really matter. This is the thing I use to balance the blades, it's just an extra weight which you manipulate to go in the right place. You can see how I made the gear uh, there which fits on the bolt goes into the centre of the drive shaft so there's no movement here. Uh, the gears are bolted onto the, oh, sorry. the drive gear is bolted on where the brake disc would be. Uh, the wire comes out here and goes down the tower. Uh, so yeah, that's it. The main thing is replace the wire rope clamps and then put these blades on the back of here. Okay, so I thought I'd show you that while we had some sunlight because it's been a bit grey. No wind for a few days, uh, so no rush to get it back up in the air. And just to remind you, the blades are 1.4 metres long. Oh, that paint's come off already. That was a bit of a waste of time, that, if I'm honest. And these blades are 55 centimetres, and there's six of them. Uh, you may be able to see they kind of go in between the two bigger blades. That is just an experiment. You can say whatever you want about it, but it has made a, a lot of power. And very interestingly, on the day when it made two kilowatts, there was a record set in the United Kingdom for the amount of power created by uh, wind energy. It's on, there's a... Uh, website. I'll put a photo of it up on the left now and you can see it's just you might find that quite interesting But that is the homemade monster wind turbine. Uh, no wind for a few days But you know she'll be back up and she does mean business for sure. See you soon. Bye